What's up, you wild tigers? <laughs> Here once again with a heroes episode. Now today's hero is is different, in a way, and probably controversial. And one of the people that have influenced my life in a way I can't even imagine. And it's your man Ty Lopez. Here in my garage with my new poster, I want to talk to you today about the 10 steps to an awesome life. Jokes aside, I knew Ty Lopez, not personally, but I've watched his videos back in 2013. Or was it 12? No, it was 13. I lied, 14. It was 2014. And it changed. It, it, I want, listened to his videos, and they were really long, and they were him in his Hollywood Hills house with books. Nothing flashy, nothing special. Nobody really knew who he was, but his videos were talking about stuff that I related to in a way that was insane. I had no idea. I was so interested. I intrigued. I'm like, this guy speaks stuff I talk about. I like. Let me listen to it. He's talking about mental toughness. He's talking about getting after it. He's talking about you. It's not what you want, but it's what you deserve. No, it's, you don't get what you want. You get what you deserve. He's talking about how certain people are beautiful because they are born with genetics and, and this and that. But then you can go out there and and that he wasn't even like motivational. It was just about the way the world works. He was talking about how Arnold Schwarzenegger got to greatness because he just trained it, changed the way his mind worked. He was talking about social stuff. And I was like, I like this way you guys talks, and I, I love it. It's, it's very, it's like, let me say not in philosophy class. You know, it's YouTube videos, whatever. I like, I used to watch RSD. I loved RSD so much. It changed my whole life in ways. And I'd listen to Ty Lopez, I'd listen to Alan Watts. Alan Watts, oh my, I still listen to him. He's just, the way he talks is amazing. So I listened to all this stuff back then, but Ty Lopez, I was, I found him near the end, and I was like, this is interesting. So, I listened more and more and more, and then, and then something happened one day. I'm sitting there, chilling, and I, I go on YouTube, and I find this video, and it's like, here in my garage. And I did my, and I was like, oh, this is another Ty Lopez video. And then, and then his videos started to expand to be more and more videos, more daily, more things about stuff that I cared about. I was like, I love this, this is cool. And then he started to explode, and he became this guy here in my garage. I'm like, oh, look, it's Ty Lopez, like people talking about him. Things just started to, to explode, and I was like, I just, it, it was amazing because I was there before it, so I never was like, it's that one guy. I'm like, it's this guy I've been listening to about like the ideas and thoughts. It's like sitting down with my best friend. And people are like, he's a scammer, he's this and that. And I was like, I mean, I guess. It's like if I said, hey guys, I have like the steps or I have uh, cookies I want you to guys buy. Like it's just, he's just selling his product. It didn't make sense to me. And then I can, this is when I started to realize things that people mentality is so different from the way I think. And I don't know if I ever expressed this, but it's hard for me to talk. It is insanely hard for me to talk. It's hard for me, to, my, my brain is in 10,000 directions, and I, I don't know if I've, this is multiple dudes, maybe my concussion, or, or me being afraid, or not really paying attention, or, I cannot say words right all the time. It's really hard for me to express my own thoughts. And I don't understand why. It's, it has to do with my childhood and certain experiences, but, I don't know if people have noticed this, and I think my best friends do, but I stutter a lot. I will say things the same way. I can't say big, like, let's say I learn word. I just, I speak in, in such little terms, and I'll say like a lot, and there's certain things where I hate it, and I know it. But I'm getting better, and these videos help. But I'm, this is the reason why I pump out a lot of these videos. It's just for me to get better at speaking, and I'd like to do Toastmasters. I don't go, I don't do it. But I went once, and I did really well, and I was, I'm getting better, and I love talking in front of people. I just can't talk, so that's my problem. It's not I'm afraid that I'm going to talk. I'm afraid that I don't know what, I'm not going to be able to say it right. So, I, I listen to him, and he says the things that I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. 
And then I go, yes, this is awesome. So I, I go, I understand now with the way I think and the way people are. But when people started attacking him, I was like, wow, people are really not understanding the value he's bringing. He's a scammer. Well, so are many things in our world. Everything's a scam. and Everything's a get-rich-quick scheme. It's about being patient. And, and life is about getting what you deserve, not what you want. And... And now I find it funny when people go, oh, that Ty Lopez guy. And I go, oh, well, someone, my friend asked me one time, who's the person that most influenced? Like, who do you look up to the most? And I said, I look up to Ty Lopez. I, he's like my idol. He's the man that I just, you know, go to wise words. He's like my teacher. He's like, I look up to my teacher, Mr. Ray at Creekside, because he's just a teacher. I, it's not like I worship him. Like, oh, my God, the great Ty Lopez. I go, oh, look, he's like somebody's older than me. I, he's got wisdom, and I like to like, listen to him. It's like uh, Aang with uh, his teachers. It, it's just somebody you look up. Like it's I don't understand this, this hatred and pain for it. So anyways, so there's a lot of things about Ty Lopez that people perceive as bad or not good or they hate him. And, and um, I go, oh well, you do that. I'm just enjoying life and I'm listening to his words and I take them or I don't. And I buy stuff or I don't buy it. I've only bought two of his products, and he's had multiple, but, I mean, it doesn't, they brought me value. I mean, I spent, I bought the accelerators, $1,000 and the 67 steps. And now I have 10x that money. Like, it's just, you can say whatever you want. Like, I mean, it is what it is for you guys. So... Now, I want to tell you why I think he's a hero and what makes him a hero, especially in my life. So, as a hero, it's somebody who does things for others and, and you don't really need to, for instance. He doesn't have to do whatever he's doing. He doesn't. He doesn't. Tony Robbins doesn't have to do it. Most of these people don't have to do it. I mean, you could say, oh, they make more and more money. Well, of course. Don't you want more money? Like, isn't that what you work as a sir? Like, isn't that what you want to? So you can say these things, and I'll go. I mean, I agree with you, but you're not. You're not also right entirely. So Ty Lopez, he makes money now. He he's an investor. He has business before. He made money off of Google AdWords. He made money off of uh, of certain businesses he invested into. If you can make money off investments. I don't think people understand that. Like I've made two. I've made about four hundred dollars in investments in the last two weeks. Like you can make money off of doing nothing. It's 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 just. You got to learn how to do it. It's not hard. So, he this, he does this stuff. And now he's like, I want to help people. I love books and this is what I want to do. It's like he found his purpose. He, he just, this is what I want to do now for the rest of my life. Wow, great. That's awesome. So, he makes videos. He wants to help people. He gives people money. And now he gives away money. He's opened up his house for people. For like uh, The house burned down because of the fires. He's... He's giving so much. He's giving value. He's helping people make their businesses. He wants people to be better. And people hate. And I'm like, well, that's fine. Like, people hated Martin Luther King or, or uh, Mother Teresa. So it's it's just, it is what it is. But he, to me, is a hero because, one, he gives back even though he doesn't have to. He just does. He just keeps giving and giving and giving. Two, he has no bullshit. There's no bullshit, no filters. You know, he just says what he wants. He does whatever he wants. And he, he, he lives his life the way he wants. And he, that's it. I love that. It, and it just, it's beautiful. And it's amazing. Just do that. Like, go and live your life the way you want to. Who cares? And then he's not very, like, a political person, too. He's, in, he's like, in the middle. And that's how I feel I am, too. And I love that. A hero person who just stands in the middle and says, it all depends on the results. So, that's it. It's not about, like, oh, who, who do you think is better? It's like, what do they do? What, and is it good or not? It's not about, I like, don't like the person because I don't like them, or I like the person because I like. Are they producing results? Are they doing what we need for the better society? That's all that matters. And another thing I love about him is he talks about building a business about, there's three levels of business. One is about, you're making money, but you're not really helping anybody. You make money and you hurt people, or you make money, but you're helping people out. So it's a win-win. And that's what this should always be, a win-win. Like, how can I provide you value and you make... I make money, you get the value you deserve, and life is all good. And another thing I love about Ty Lopez is he seems to just destroy everything that people thought of as, like, 
rich people or how they should act. Or and the thing is, that he has these girls in his cars, and and I like it because I can relate to in a in a way, because I like hanging out with a lot of people, and I like hanging out with like girls, and I love hanging out with um, influential people, and I love working out, and it's just stuff like that, and it's just it's fun because. Like why not? Why not hang out with people? Why not do all this stuff? And why not have meaningful relationships and, and and stuff that matter? And it's he takes it and he says it's possible. It's possible. Like you can do whatever it is you want. And it's just proof. It's proof. It's not saying you're going to get it, but it's proof. And he says I can help you get there. Maybe it's up to you. But I have the ways to work for me. So implement in your life. And he's you would have two beliefs. You can. You can't. And he just says you can. That's it. Okay, so, that's him. What else I love about him is... And I think this might be hard for certain people, but in a way, in a way, he's very authentic. Because he always states that he is not a master, he's not an expert, he just learns from people and he provides those people value. So, when he has these channels, he brings the people on and makes a course about it. You can call that bullshit, you can say this is not Ty Lopez, but his brand is about knowledge, not him himself. He doesn't need himself in a picture. And that's a smart way to do it, because if he dies or he wants to go to something else, he can still run the business without him in it, because it's not about him, it's about knowledge. He's just a smart person. But why he's a hero to me is because he gives back, he does so much for people, he provides value, and he wants people, and this is like the same mind purpose I'm on, he wants to show people that you can live the life you want, you deserve, because you're going to go out there and work hard and do what it is so you can deserve that life. You can be rich, you can be happy, you can be healthy, you can be whatever you want. He has four for the good life. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. It does not mean a million dollars. It means enough money to be able to do whatever you want, like freedom. Like you be safe and not afford about money. Health, about being fit, being eating the right foods, doing the right things, sleeping early, stretching. Love, about relationships, having meaningful relationships, having people around you that matter. Are you happy around the people that you care about? And then the last one is happiness. Are you happy? Are you doing things that are fun? Are you engaging? Are you, are you waking every morning excited? That's all he talks about. And it's all about giving people that good life and giving out people money and showing people cars and girls because people will see that and they go, oh, I don't want to read books. But he says, if you read this book, you might get these two things. Or you, or you watch this girl read this or watch me in this car. People are like, wow, I didn't know reading was cool. Well, girls are cool. Because people these days at school, people say reading. It's like, ah, oh, that's stupid. I'm dumb. I don't want to do it. And right? he goes, if you don't do it, you're stupid. And you're dumb. Because this can get you these cards, these women, all this stuff. Because it's knowledge. Knowledge is power. Power makes you be able to do whatever you want. And he also has a way of saying, people, if this falls in the wrong hands, it can lead to bad things. So he likes to filter out the people who come into his programs. Because he knows this can be used for bad. So he says, I want to create a world where people use this for good. It's like a superpower. Knowledge, uh, psychology, all this stuff. And he just tries to provide, show it good stuff. He wants to change and make people more knowledgeable and help people make more money, be wealthy, and, and happy in life. And I go, good. I love that. And I, I look up to that. But my mission is a little different. It's about changing the way people view gamers. It makes your gamers kind of great lives too. And sh just picking the gamers are like the new um, builders of the world, essentially. Not entirely all the time, but there's a lot to it. And it's like, I just. He is a man who says no when people say yes. And he's a man that says yes when people say no. And he defies contradictions and battles and ideals and blah, blah. He is literally a man who says, you can put whatever you want on me. You can say whatever you want on me. You can hate me. You can laugh at me. But I'm just trying to help out the world. I'm trying to live my life. And uh, he did, yeah. And uh, if you feel offended or, or mad or angry about the way he is, it speaks volumes about yourself. It does. It speaks volumes. And to call people stupid, retarded, disrespectful, dumb, scam, just all this stuff is very cynical. And there's nothing wrong with that until you let it be, make like toxic and, and chaotic. And it's not right. You must stop being delusional. Okay? People are delusional. They're living in these, these lies, these fantasies. I was delusional for a while before August. It's this delusion that you think things are certain ways and not. And you can hurt people in this delusion. Never be delusional. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. If you're sleeping right now, I need you to open your eyes. I need you to watch a video about life. 
about the red pill, about stuff. Go watch the Ty Lopez video and actually listen to what he says. It might change your life or not. But just remember one thing. Heroes are people around us who decide to give to help others when they don't need to. And to make sure people don't struggle because of not no knowledge, um, people lying to them, or scammers. Because there's scammers everywhere. Don't let your life be ruined because of other scammers. You perceive him as a scammer because there's other scammers, and you're not wrong. But don't don't let your life fall out because you think, oh, well, he's a scammer too, so I should never listen to what he says. You gotta sometimes bite the bullet and say, I trust him. I trust this person. I trust this. But remember, go after the good life with health, wealth, love, and happiness. You don't get what you want. You get what you deserve. Done.